Howdy gang and welcome back to Pool School. In this very short but still very important lesson, I'm going to talk to you about how to take care of your pool after you've had a really long weekend or a major pool party with lots of bodies in the pool. All right, so what do you say we get to it? Alrighty, before we get started, as always, I want to thank you for watching. I remind you to like this video if you do, subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already, and please, please, please share my channel with everyone you know who has a pool. Alrighty, so I posted this video right after Labor Day because I thought it'd be a good time to do it. Um, on Labor Day in, in, the Amer in America, lots of celebrating. People with pools usually have lots of people in the pools, which creates a really, really high demand. Uh, on the chemistry of the pool and the pool water itself with just body oils, body fluids, all kinds of stuff in the pool, food substance, um, sunscreens, you name it. Again, it can really wreak havoc on your system and create a great demand and really suck the chemicals out of your pool. So I wanted to give you a couple things that you could do at the end of the Labor Day weekend or an extended weekend or a pool party if you just had one that can help you get your pool back to clear and blue really really quickly okay it's very simple this is going to be a short video okay so a couple things number one remember to empty your pump and skimmer baskets that'll allow for proper water flow all right that's the first thing number two if you have a sand filter backwash it okay that'll help get some of the oils and some of the gunk out of your pool all right if you have a DE filter, you might want to consider backwashing and recharging it as well. Cartridge filter, if it's been more than eight months since you've cleaned your cartridges, it might be a good idea to clean them. But if it's been less than that, you should be okay. Okay? All right. So the next thing, this is number three, I would suggest you get either a pound of trichlor granules, which is trichlor shock. I prefer trichlor over dichlor or calhypo. Um, I just think it's more potent. It gets in the system quicker. What its purpose is, is to get the chlorine levels jacked up real quick because when you have so many people and so many bodies in a pool, there's so much demand on that chlorine, it could actually suck up a lot of that chlorine. So you want to get that chlorine level up as quickly as possible. Remember, you're doing this once the whole swimming thing is done, when everybody's done. Don't start dumping this in when people are still going to be getting in the pool, all right? So after everybody's done, throw a pound of trichlor shock in the pool, all right? With the equipment running so it distributes the chemistry or the chemicals really quickly, all right? And also, um, if you want to watch my video on, on shock and why I don't use it very often, I will put a link to that video in the description below this video so you can watch about the different kinds of shock and why I prefer the trichlor granules, okay? And then lastly, um, if you don't wanna use the shock, you can always just take a gallon of liquid chlorine, which is really my preference because it gets into the water quickly, quicker than anything else. So you can take a gallon of liquid chlorine if you have a standard play pool, which is about 12 to 15,000 gallons, and just pour that entire gallon of liquid chlorine into the pool with the equipment running and let it distribute the chlorine, all right? Um, it really does help. If you have a larger pool, like a 20 to 25,000 gallon pool, you might want to use two pounds of trichlor shock or two gallons of liquid chlorine. Now, here's the most important thing. Once you've done all that stuff, okay, I wouldn't worry too much about your pH and um, alkalinity. You can test that later on during the week. But one thing that's really important, run your filter pump for at least 24 hours. And that will help the, the pump, the, the filter, just filter out a bunch of the, the, the um, stuff that's in the water. And usually within a day, your pool should be all cleared up and blue as usual. You might wanna backwash your sand filter again once it's cleared up because sand filters tend to need to be backwashed a little more often. But that's pretty much how you deal with a pool after you have, an ex have had an extended weekend or a lot of people in the pool. So I hope that makes sense. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any comments, 
or questions, feel free to put them in the comment section below this video. Or, as always, you could email me directly. My email address will come across the bottom of the screen. It is kennypoolschool at gmail.com. Once again, kennypoolschool at gmail.com. Thank you so much once again for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. And until we meet again, remember, have fun, be safe, and always, always, always watch those kids and elderly people and pets around water. And I'll see you next time.